Hey everybody, Danny on here. Thanks for joining us. This week, I want to help you create easy, effortless yards and accuracy in three simple steps. I had Jim come and see me today, um, a couple of days ago actually from Holland. He came for an hour and we managed to turn his slice into a mini draw and add some distance, but we did it in a very, very easy way. Here's him at the start of the session. You can see here's over the top, lots of stuff going on, a lot of poor striking designs, a big slice with his driver. And at the end of the session, we completely started to transform the whole feel and look. And in his own words, he was achieving an effortless, easy shot, which is going nice and straight, but had power. I want to share with you how we did it, because I know it could benefit you too. Before I do though, if you're new to the channel and this is one of your first videos of mine, please come and uh, join the community. If you want to see videos just like this one in your inbox every single week, press that subscribe button and the bell, and I look forward to seeing you next week too. So, how do you get started with this? Well, with Jim, it's very simple. The first step in this entire process is simply getting the body working in the right order. Jim, like a lot of people who slice the golf ball, isolated one movement. He hit the golf ball with a simple shoulder motion. That was it. If you hook the golf ball, like a, a, a client did a, a couple of days ago, he was just an arm motion. So these are isolated motions. They're not working, we're not working as a team. I want you to create a swing that I call foot to hand, a foot to hand swing. What is that? Well, if you go to simply throw a ball like this, we don't just swing our arm. It's foot and the foot to hand. The hand is slung by the momentum of the body. Energy goes from the foot all the way up the body, down the arm, and finally it's delivered to the hand. So you need to experience this first. One thing, understanding it, uh, to, uh, second experience it. So I want you to experience this foot to hand movement. So I did this with uh, Jim, and all I did was got him to simply get some balls under arm and simply practice throwing. But in doing so, I painted a little box and I said to him, I want you to throw the ball through a mini box here to experience this entire body motion. So we did this, this is stage one. Back, through. And the, after a few balls, initially, by the way, he, he still threw like this. And then he started to let go a little bit more. And he realized that his lower body, his hips were naturally moving through. He got that feeling. That's what I want you to do. Throw a few balls first of all. Then I said, now I know some of you out there are going to be left-handed playing golf, right-handed, just simply reverse the process, do the same with your left hand. But then I said, right, with one hand, do the same thing. Paint your box out there just a few yards in front, and I want you to now just to simply swing. And the whole purpose of this for now is getting the body sequenced in the right way. Look at the difference in his swing already just with one hand. So suddenly now we started to get this swinging through. The body's, and we're not trying to play golf at this stage, all we're trying to do is literally almost imagine we're throwing, the ball through that box there. Nothing more simple than that. Don't care about strike, don't care about anything else apart from just literally getting the sensation of that ball or that swing just, just thrown down there. Now, you look at the difference. He's now getting a sequence. He's now getting the body work. It's a complete transformation. We then added in the second hand. This, and then we're still in stage one at the moment. Second hand, just literally swinging backwards and forwards. In between, we do a few of these motions, again, just to kind of keep reminding the body what it's supposed to be doing. Get ourselves set, back. Two hands now, just literally throwing that ball forward. Now, this was looking good, but he was looking still a little bit wooden. What do I mean by that? His arm here was a little bit tense. If you go to throw a golf ball or throw any ball, you can't throw with a stiff arm or throw effectively. The arms need to respond and be responding to the body. If I go to throw a ball, watch this, my body moves and my arm is simply just slung. Yeah, it's soft, it's relaxed, it's waiting to be launched by the body. If I go and add tension to this arm, there is literally no throwing, no sling. Now, this is the hardest stage for Jim, and it will be the hardest stage for you if you struggle with this. Now, the reason being, it feels out of control. We don't like to feel out of control. You've got to let this swing. You want club head speed, you want accuracy, you've got a let go. To get control, you need to give it up. Imagine this, imagine riding a bike. Try and ride a bike slowly and ride it in a straight line. It's really difficult. You have to have let go, you have to have a certain pace in that riding to keep it on the straight and narrow. And that's the same in golf. If you want to keep the ball on the straight and narrow, you have to have a certain pace, a certain letting go. 
okay? Not just for speed, but also for accuracy. So we got him doing this drill. Let his arms hang, getting the sensation, swinging the arms like this, and then coming through. Look, I said, look, use your body, just throw the arms towards the target. And notice this, just like throwing before, now you just do it with two hands. So start to let go. Have no concern over where the ball's going at this stage. So if we go again, backwards and forwards, I'm literally just now just slinging the arms through. I don't care where the ball finishes, backwards and forwards. Let's go again, backwards and forwards. Back here, sling the arms through to the target. That's all we're doing. Nice and easy. And, it, and in his own words, it felt so effortless, but scary. And initially, by the way, he would literally, he'd start to hit a few offline and immediately hits a few offline doing this and in comes the control again. Why? Because you, just like Jim, you're human and it's instinctive to control that shot. You've got to, the learning to let go is, a, is something that we have to, we have to learn, it's a, it's a practice. One thing that does help, by the way, in this entire process is, first of all, do the exercises to get the feel of it, but then we work on the third and final stage is you need to build a routine with this. Often the quicker you hit to the golf ball in terms of walking to it and go, more instinctive, the more relaxed you'll be. The longer you spend over the golf ball, the more tension creeps into those arms. So in the third and final stage, I want you to build a system that has two factors in it. First factor, I want you to always picture a shot where you're going. You must, like with Jim, Jim um, in uh, his post had still had a little bit of a slice, so I said, right, and now I want you to picture a draw. What does a draw look like? A ball that sets off to the right. So I got him now swinging and imagining this draw. I didn't talk about how he was going to achieve it. He didn't need to. He stood and he started to swing beautifully in this direction, visualizing the draw. Then I got him to the golf, uh, go to the golf ball. Don't waste no time. Get himself set and away we go and get that ball just beautifully drawing. That was the third and final stage. So when you've done this, you've got to build it into a system. It's not easy initially because it feels like, oh my God, the ball's going left, ball's going right. I've got to get that control back. Let go. So in summary, what did we do? What was really uh, transformative? We created a foot to hand swing, or you could even call it a foot to head swing. This head is slung because of what you're doing here. As I'm throwing, I'm not isolating an arm movement, I'm not isolating a shoulder motion. It's starting from the ground, just like you were doing throwing. Feel that motion. Work to one hand, get that sensation. Work to two hands, get that sensation. Now when you're doing this, you move to step two. This is all the sequencing, move to step two. You've got to learn to let go. Don't concern you like a child. How do you let go? Do some exercises where you practice slinging them. Do some exercises then, just don't care where the ball goes, just let it go. And then third and finally, put it into a routine that allows you to let go on a golf course. Always pick a target in mind, you're visualizing where the ball's going, you're getting yourself set. I'm picturing a ball now that's setting off slightly to the right here, and I'm gonna picture my window, and all I'm gonna do here is get to the golf ball, I'll get myself set, and I'm gonna imagine myself just simply swinging and throwing the club through that window. And it is as simple as that. This will help you develop a core swing. Once you've done this, yes, there's gonna be slight tweaks that you need to make, but golfers work on the tweaks way too much. What we wanna have is this simple, effortless, easy golf swing as the stage number one until we start making all the complicated tweaks that make it and fine tune it and make it excellent. I really hope you enjoyed this video. It can really help. Please share it with as many people as possible, particularly some of the beginner golfers. I want to start people off on the right foot. It really, really helps. And of course, look, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new to the channel and this one is one of your first videos, come and join the community next week. Press that subscribe button and the bell. And I really look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great golfing week.